165 pounds, and Johnny Hendricks of Oklahoma State. He is taking center stage, trying to become a two-time champion against the top seed, Ryan Chirella of the University of Michigan. So you look at Chirella unbeaten so far this year. Fourth last year. Third in 2004. And Johnny Hendricks, the champion last year, two-time Big 12 champ. Hendricks in the orange singlet, familiar singlet of Oklahoma State. And Ryan Chirella in that blue singlet. And a quick, quick move by Johnny Hendricks, but he doesn't get any points out of it. Another quick shot to the leg. Boy, well, does a nice job of keeping his head right in the chest. Now he's up to the treetop. This is where Johnny Hendricks likes to be. You know, he likes to think of it. Here's Johnny. I mean, it's his stage when it comes to the, the elevated mat. It's almost like he wanted to pull Torella back into the middle, not just to, you know, not just to get better position, but just to show the crowd that he could. He could still score from here, but he gave up great position, and now this is not as good. Shirella is showing some great athleticism and flexibility, but at the end, Hendricks gets the score. They, they scored it. Johnny Hendricks, the man the crowd comes to hate, at least some of the crowd, not the Cowboy fans, though. They love him. Yeah, he's got about three. 4,000 best friends right now in the stands. Another 13 that are booing him. He doesn't mind being oh, he playing likes the role it. of the villain, does he? Constant pressure by Hendricks. They want to take advantage of the standing position. With Shirella, an outstanding wrestler on the mat, but a little bit more vulnerable on his feet. There's Mark Shirella three-time champion in his own right at the University of Michigan, cheering on his son. The thing about Hendricks is he doesn't have the greatest shot, but he gets to it and he horses you, horses into it. He just shows up in a match like this. The bigger the match, the better Hendricks. Let's go to the middle. Gary Kessel is our referee. There's Johnny Hendricks. He's a junior from Oklahoma State. Out of Edmond, Oklahoma Memorial High School. And he likes targeting that right leg of Sorella and he'll score again. Is he going to cut him again? Not this time. Uh, he's going to try to put some riding time so that he doesn't get in trouble if that's where Shirella gets and neutralizes him with a good ride. Hendricks beat Shirella in the semifinals last year on his way to the championship. Stand up by Shirella and he kicks free. Guys, how is Hendricks able to get so deep on Shirella so often in this match? A lot of, a lot of it is pace. He wants to keep the pace strong, 15, a lot of pressure 15. moving forward. And then he's very quick at dropping in on that right leg. Center! Center! So Johnny Hendricks with a couple of takedowns in that opening period. Well, wait a minute. One second remaining in the opening stanza. We go to period two, but first a report from Quinn Kesnick. I spoke to Ryan this week, and he admitted that his father, Mark, has set an awful high standard and accomplished the most for the maize in blue. But he said, I want to leave a legacy of my own. I want to leave my own mark. What I thought was interesting was that the brothers, uh, they didn't start wrestling until seventh grade, and, and the father let the brothers make the decision to wrestle. And Ryan said he made it something I wanted to do. Uh, there is no entitlement in wrestling. It's interesting. You may have the genes, but everything on the mat is earned. That's interesting, too, that you know, gave him that freedom. A three-time champ, Mark Chirella. Older brother, Mark. Mark Jr. wrestled for Michigan. So did, so has his younger brother, Josh. And now Ryan, a senior at Michigan. 
Brian's been looking forward to this match since last year. They met in last year's semifinals where Johnny Hendricks beating 6-2 to two to go to the finals on his way to the national championship. So Ryan Shirella been anticipating this, wanted to turn it around. He knows the crowd's going to be loud. He said, yeah, I just want to turn it into a positive. Another deep shot for Johnny Hendricks. Well, this time Shirella able to counter it a little bit, get his hips away. Hendricks showing the power he has to be able to come up off the bottom like that, but Shirella doing a great job here of sprawling. See if he can break the lock, maybe spit behind. Gary Kessel is our referee for this match. Well, we talked about the Shirella family. Ryan is roommates with Josh. He's his best friend. They even drill and wrestle together, and they were concerned with Josh Ross for the day impact Ryan. I'm surprised this isn't potentially dangerous by the referees, but they're letting him wrestle freely here, and there it is. Third time that Johnny Hendricks has gotten through the head-hands defense of Ryan Shirella. He's got that solved, and Shirella's going to have to solve that problem himself and not let Hendricks get into his legs so easily. Keeps that right hand back a little bit, Ryan does. That, it's not out in front of the leg, so... Hendricks is going right in, grabbing. So what? Trell, very important to just keep from getting taken down because his position's on top. He'll get to be there, hopefully, in the third period. And he's only down by a point, so a turn could win it. Oh, two! He gets it! He's still! Wow! He runs out of time.